Well, I said you really wanted these starts. What's that feeling like for you and then to get those and to be successful? Yeah, um, I just want to do anything I can to help the team win, um, whether that's starting or relieving. Um, it seems like it's, it's been working recently, especially last Friday. RJ comes out of the pen and just absolutely dominates those guys, which is awesome to see. Um, so I'm just going to keep doing whatever I can do to help the team win. Have you felt any differently <clears throat> this year as opposed to other seasons here at Oregon? What's the improvement been for you this year? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's no secret. I've been had the most success in the past year. Um, struggled with them, you know, whether it's command issues or whatnot. But um, I think some mechanical adjustments, um, some mental adjustments, just gain that confidence back and really just playing for my guys and enjoying the time that I have here is the biggest thing. Just being able to be with these guys every day is a blessing, so. Those mental adjustments, I mean, just from the naked eye, it seems like you're super fired up, super competitive on the hill. Is that part of it, just getting yourself in that state every single, every single time you get out there? I think so, yeah. Um, that's always been kind of how I pitch when I have my most success. Um, so being able to get myself to that level, you know, whether it's a one run game or a 10 run game, I just want to be at my best. and. Uh, Seems like that's that's when I am. What was that conversation like for you when either Waz or Angier mentioned that you were starting on Friday? You were being the start of, or the Friday night <clears throat> starter for the first time. He, I was in the airport, just got a breakfast sandwich, <laughs> and he said, "Hey, you're gonna start tomorrow." I said, "Sweet, sounds good." <laughs> that's and it. I, then I ate my sandwich. Right. <laughs> yeah. We gotta know what the sandwich Crazy. was. Oh, it was sweet. It was a bagel with egg, cheese, <laughs> bacon. It was awesome. There we go. Yeah, it's great. Did, I mean, how much pride do you take in, in being that Friday night guy? Uh, it's it's definitely awesome. Um, being able to start on Fridays is obviously everyone's dream. Um, whether I'm going three innings, just opening for, for someone to come in and throw after me or, you know, going five, it's all the same. Um, or thrown out of the pen. So it really doesn't matter to me uh, where, where I get in, just any way I can can help the team and luckily it was it was cool to be able to do that on Friday. You talked about the mechanical adjustments you've made too. Is there anything without giving too much away that you can share that's been really helpful this season? Um, a big thing that I did starting last year, I just shortened up my arm. Um, I used to have a really long arm action. Uh, you know, it just wasn't as consistent as I needed it to be. So shortening that up and working on that through summer ball and uh, throughout the fall, that, that's been the biggest thing. How long did it take to feel comfortable with that? Took a while. Uh, I think I started it in the middle of season last year, and really started feeling comfortable middle of the fall, maybe. So um, took a little bit, but got there. I think for for your last two starts, including today, that those are two huge potential momentum shifters in the season. Really, yeah. Coming off UCSD and seeing how the program would react after that series, just what does that mean to you that you've gotten the ball both those times and done and performed well? It's, it's an honor, honestly, um, being able to pitch for this team, play with these guys, um, play for these coaches. Um, you know, every, every game past couple of weeks, it's been a you know, must win. Um, all, they all matter, and we're, I think if we keep doing what we're doing, we're going to make a good push and get hot at the right time. What was the feeling like when you saw Walsh rip that down the right field line and you guys got to run out? And, oh, I just uh, started yelling and ran out there, <laughs> hopped yeah. over the fence, threw my water bottle down. It was awesome. It was sweet, especially after Walsh. You know, we were talking about it. didn't have his best day at the plate or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, he really wanted that at bat, and he, he did everything, everything right. It was awesome. Kid's a stud.